Oh, what is up, everybody? Hopefully, you guys have a great time. And once again, everybody, do not forget to hit the like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, definitely hit that bell notification. Now, once again, guys, in this video right here, I'm going to show you how to get a refund on your console or mobile or even on the computer all right i'm gonna show you how to get refund and for anybody that want to basically like let's just say you buy any of these game but you regret buying it let's say the new uh 2k26 or meta gear solo any new game like any game that comes out in the near future battlefield whatever and you want your refund you only got up to 14 days to return it back okay i'm gonna show you me personally, I purchased a game right now and I want my refund. So I'm going to just try to show you, all right, even though if I might lose it or not, I, I don't think I will because they give you 14 days. So it is a new policy that the PlayStation kind of added. So when you purchase like any games and, and, and all that, then you guys will basically get a refund out of that. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. Now, for security purpose, guys, I will be privating my information. So I'm just trying to private my information, but I will show you um, step by step and also on the mobile. So on the mobile, I'm also going to show it to you. So please follow the step. But let's start with the computer real quick. If you guys are in the website, you guys can actually get it there, too. You can get the refund on the website or on the app. I'm going to show you the app real quick, too, at the same time. But let me just show you the website real quick because it's pretty fast. OK, so, yeah. But at this moment, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is basically show you um, the I'm going to I'm going to show you the, the refund and all that. So let's start with the app first. We're going to basically go to PlayStation that dot com right over here. And you guys are going to sign in. OK, sign in with your PlayStation account. Once you sign in with your PlayStation account, um, you guys going to go click on your name like right over here and then scroll all the way down where it does say account setting. Like you see right here, account setting. Click on that right there and it's going to take you right over here. Now, for security purpose, um, I'm not, it's supposed to take you away, say your information like right here. But I put it right here because I don't want to show my name or my information or anything like that. But instead, you're going to go right here where it says transaction history It's right next to, to the subscription. So it's right here. Transaction history. Click on that right there and it's going to pop up like that. He said you will go to another page. Click on continue. Once you click on continue, guys, it will pop up right over here. Then this is how it's going to look like. And then you're going to choose the uh, what you want to refund, you can scroll down or up, whatever you want to see. You want to, you know, uh, refund, whatever. You're going to open it up like this. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to open it up like this. I'm going to private this. I'm going to private my information because it showed my email and it showed my translation number. So I don't want to show that. So due to security purpose, I'm going to add this right here. OK, so as you can see, I just basically you cannot see anything. OK, and now I'm basically showing you. All right. As you can see, I did pri private my email and my transaction ID number. So I private both of these. But as you can see, it will go straight to your wallet and the, the credit that you want is going to be Wrestle Evil 2 or whatever game you got, like the new um, Metal Gear Solid or Call of Duty's, you know, Black Ops 7 for anybody that probably want their refund for that game. I heard people are talking bad about that game anyway. Um, and it's going to show you the amount that you're going to receive back. And then at this moment, you're going to click on request refund. OK, click on that right there. Now, I'm going to show you for the mobile real quick, guys. So let me just show you that real quick. All right. So, yeah. All right. So once again, I'm going to show you for the mobile. Once again, it worked for the iOS and it worked for the Android. So for anybody that want to basically um, download the PlayStation app. You could download it on both system on the iOS or on the Android. We're going to go to the Play Store. Should I say the App Store? All right. And all you guys have to do is type in the PS or you could type in PlayStation. PlayStation. Type that PlayStation just like that. And the first thing that will pop up is PlayStation app is over a hundred million people basically downloaded this and we're going to click on open 
and you guys are gonna sign in on your PlayStation account. All right. It's also it, it also even tells you if you want to basically connect to your PlayStation Five, or PlayStation Four. You know, you could do that if you guys want to set that up. But at the same time, the next you're going to do is click on the little bag. You see the little bag that is in the bottom of your screen, right there. Click on the little bag of the PlayStation bag. All right, right over here. It's gonna take you to the PS Store. It's, the little bag is called PS Store, okay? Once it take you here, click on the three little line on the top right side, okay? Just like that. That's simple, all right? Then you're gonna click on Transaction History. Click on that right there, okay? Once you click on that, these are all the stuff that you basically have purchased and you have within 14 days to return them back. As you can see, I don't have that much here. I just like I just got like some other game. The last game I bought that was digital was Wolcon. They didn't have it, they didn't have it physical, so I just bought it. But I cannot return that back because it would it, it would not give you that option, guys. So just letting you guys know, it will it will you know what it will tell you if you try to refund like any of the game that you have. In the past couple of, a couple of months, it's just gonna tell you uh, we cannot give you the refund because it overpassed the 14 days of your purchase. All right, so it makes sense what they're saying. All right, but if you purchase a game, me, me personally, I purchased Wrestling Evil, and I'm still within those 14 days. I'm gonna click on it, and due to security purpose, I will put the screen a little bit black, or I'm gonna just. Yeah, put it black and then post something private because I want to uh, private my email and the ID number for that refund. So at this moment, as you can see, um, it's even tell you to, if, if you are still struggling, you have to sign in. Sometimes when you click on that, it does say um, sign in to proceed. So I'm going to sign in real quick. I'm going to post this. All right, guys. So once again, at this moment, I had to sign in for some apparently reason. It signed me out. It does that, guys, okay? So, as you can see, I am requesting Wrestle Evil. Even though I already showed you for the website, <laughs> I'm showing you right here on the mobile. You can still do it here, too, at the same time. Once again, I'm blocking my email and my transaction ID number. Okay, I'm private in those. And I'm going to click on Refund, okay? Um, request Refund, okay? Now, once I do that, it's going to pop up like this, okay? Now, uh, once it does pop up like this, all right, it's going to tell you, it's going to give you a, an explanation. It said, I changed my mind, purchased multiple times, something else. Accelerated. You could basically click on this one that you accelerated purchase it by mistake. This is more reasonable, okay? You can even cancel pre-order orders. Like if you, let's say that you, you pre-order um, Call of Duty, right? You, you know, and you change your mind. You know, you could basically click on cancel pre-order, you know. So, yeah. But at this point, I'm going to click on submit. All right. And once I do that, it said uh, your free, your uh, your refund request for the rest of the thing has been accepted. Allow a few days for your refund to, to be credit to the original, you know, payment. That's it. And that is that easy. They set them my payment. I'm good. I'm gonna receive my money, and I'm gonna receive the money that I paid for Rest Level Two, you know. And that's great. That's amazing. I love that because people like do change their mind within like three days or four days. And this policy is amazing. Massive W to PlayStation on this moment. That does massive W for them, and I appreciate that. So that's pretty much it, guys. So once again, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification, and I'll see you later. Take care. Fast. Click OK after. So once again, guys, that is pretty much it for me for today. I just wanted to show you how to get your refund back for the website and the mobile. I know some of you guys want a refund. Let's say Call of Duty Black Ops 7. People, it looked like they Black Ops, this game is getting backlash hardcore. So, yeah, or Metagear, or Battlefield, you know, or NBA, whatever game, doesn't really matter. But it had to be within those 14 days, guys. It's very important. It had to be within, if it passed, like, they say that it passed two weeks or three weeks. Uh, matter of fact, 14 days? No, 14 days is literally two weeks. So, they give you two weeks for you to return it back, okay? So, you have two weeks to return it back. But 
um, if you don't return it back within two weeks, you will lose the money. Remember, these games are like $80. So if you want to get your refund back for the $80 game, you might as well do that. Okay. But anyway, at this moment, uh, let me just show you. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So once again, I already show you for the mobile and for the website. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.